Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a full face of first impressions. If you guys saw my last video, it was my Sephora haul. Today I am putting all of those products on my face in a first impressions so you guys could see what I like and what I don't like. And yeah, this is the look I came up with using all of those new products. So if you guys want to see my Sephora update, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with me, me eyes, my eyes today. So I'm going to take, this is again all the stuff that I showed you guys in my last video, my haul. But anyways, this is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Pencil in Taupe. And today I'm going to just use this as a uh, base. I do have a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion on and then I've set from my brow bone down to my crease with a little bit of powder. And you can see I'm just like messily throwing this on. Not being neat with it or putting it in like any specific area just because this is gonna get blended out and we are just using it as a base today. It's not really even gonna show. To tell you the truth, you don't even have to do this step. I am just doing it just to show you guys um, like one way to use these pencils. So now I'm gonna take this brush. This is by Real Techniques and I'm just gonna buff out those edges. I don't have a new eyeshadow palette to play with today. The only thing that I have new is this Tarte product. So I'm just going to really quickly go through this. I might speed it up and add some music or something into the background to make it a little bit more interesting. But I'll just tell you guys what I'm using. This is the Baked Browns eyeshadow palette by Dose of Colors. And I'm just going to kind of go into these dark ones and just throw them into my crease and outer corner and then we'll be back to use this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Tarte Chrome Paint this is in the color Park Avenue Princess, and it's just a really, really beautiful bronzy copper shade. And I think I'm going to try with my finger first. So I'm just going to get it on my finger, and I'm going to apply it right on the lid. That is really pigmented. Okay, so that was a little bit messy to work with. I went in with my finger. I just think I had too much on it, and it just went everywhere so it took me a while to kind of balance out my eyes but the end result is very very pretty but it's a little bit hard to work with but anyways I'm taking like a smaller pencil brush now and I'm dipping into a black eyeshadow this one is from Urban Decay use any black eyeshadow you have and then what I'm gonna do with this let me just grab my mirror I'm just gonna slightly take it from my lash line up into the outer corner here kind of like um like you're making a wing and then i'm just kind of shading in the very outermost corner then i'm going to take a smaller blending brush and i'm just gonna lightly like i'm barely using any pressure here i'm just gonna lightly blend the outermost edge just so there's not any harsh lines. Okay, so we'll finish up the eyes a little bit later. We do have a new foundation to test out. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am in the color Stromboli, which is medium three. This is what it looks like. It is stunning packaging. I'm gonna apply it how I do any foundation with um, a beauty blender. And I've also primed my face with Guerlain Le Or Primer because I'm fancy like that. So I'm gonna take a little bit. That's what it looks like. So you can see it's not too runny, 
but it looks like it'll be the right color for me. I'm gonna apply to this side first and just see what it looks like. The color looks about right. It's a little, a little dark, but we can make it work. Holy, that is some full coverage right there. It does dry down pretty fast, so just be a little bit quicker when you're working with it because the dots I put on my forehead have kind of set already. I obviously applied way too much. Um, that amount could literally do my whole face. Okay, so that is one layer of the foundation on. It's very, very full coverage. It doesn't really look radiant or dewy to me. It looks more matte um, right now. My skin is dry, just for reference, but so far I'll do a close-up right now. So far it's looking pretty good. It's not sticking onto any of my fine lines. It's not not sticking on it's not sinking into any fine lines or wrinkles and it's not um, grabbing onto any dry patches right now my dry patches are between my nose right on my upper lip between my nose between my eyebrows my upper lip and around my nose and yeah it's not sticking to anything so far it actually looks really good my skin was really dry today, so I'm actually surprised that it's not looking cakey. And it does build up on itself really nicely. Okay, so, so far, so good. Um, the color is dark for me, for sure. Um, yeah. That doesn't match. I might have to go with one uh, lighter than this, but other than that, the coverage and the finish are really beautiful. Next, I am going to apply concealer and see how this goes. This is the Urban Decay New All Nighter Concealer. Mine is in uh, medium light neutral. And this is what it looks like. It's just their foundation in mini. It's so cute. And I'm going to apply that to kind of highlight and conceal. I don't know, I have a feeling that this is going to be kind of a fa uh, concealer that dries down really quickly. So I'm going to do one section at a time just so it doesn't stick onto my skin. So I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. So as you can see, that is definitely full coverage. Also helps lighten up my foundation a bit, which is nice. Ooh, that is really full coverage and really, really matte. But there's the concealer uh, with one on, and I'm going to do the rest of my face, and then I'll be back. So I'm going to do a close-up right now. Okay, so this is the base with no powder on right now. It looks really, really flawless, but very, very matte. So if you're on the really dry end, I don't know how you would like this because... Um, I never have my face this matte and it feels a little bit weird. It feels a little tight, a little dry, but, and it's still sticky. It's not completely dried down yet, but even though it feels dry, it doesn't look dry. Like my skin looks like there's some type of filter on it. It looks really, really good. Okay, so let's go quickly finish the eyes now. I'm going to use a black coal pencil and I'm going to line my waterline. As you can see, I kind of got it a little bit outside the waterline as well. Okay, I'm going to take a smudger pencil now and I'm going to smudge that coal. Now I'm just going to take a... Uh, pencil, a pencil brush, and I'm going to go into that first color that we used, um, that transition color, 
And I'm going to mix a little bit of that middle one in between. And I'm just going to go and kind of blend that out just so it doesn't look messy. And I'm also connecting it with my top lash line. I'm going to take a shimmery color and apply that to my inner corners and a tad bit right on the brow bone. I have no new mascara to try out so I'm just going to go do my lashes and then I'll be back. Okay, let's try out the highlight next. This is the Hourglass Vanish Highlight. I have the color Champagne Flash. Same packaging as their foundation. I'm just going to melt this a little bit onto my hand just so it gets a little more creamy. And then I think I'm just going to go for it and draw it on. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that out just because the Beauty Blender does have a little bit of that foundation still on it so it'll help kind of mesh everything together. It's really, 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 really subtle. Almost to the point where you don't really see it. wonder if I blend it out with my fingers. So if you're a person that likes very, very, very subtle highlights, you might like this. Um, I don't know. I don't think I do. I don't think that it's worth uh, the 50 some dollars that it is because it literally, it doesn't really show up on my skin. Yeah, I'm not really sure that I like that. Actually, I think that I might return this because it's not showing up at all. It's just lifting the foundation that's underneath it. It kind of wrecked my base, which kind of sucks. But other than wrecking my base, it didn't do anything else. So, yeah. That's a, that's a fail. Moving on, this bronzer I've never tried before. It's by Buxom. And it is their Hot Sands... Yeah. Hot Escape Bronzer in Tahiti. Oh, it smells like a tropical vacation. And this is supposed to have like a little bit of shimmer and radiance in it. I don't see any shimmer in the pan. Uh, let's see how it looks on the face. That uh, highlight lifted all of the foundation that was underneath it. So, if my face is looking patchy right now, that is why. This is actually a really beautiful bronzer. It's very subtle. It gives you a natural kind of sheen. That's really pretty. I actually really like that. And it smells amazing. Okay, another product that I've had laying around that I haven't tried yet are these Smashbox Halo Longwear Blushes. Um, they're like loose, loose blushes like this. I have like a more nude color and then I have this more peachy color. I think I'm gonna go with this one today. So what you do is you kind of just click it. Ooh. And then it comes out. I feel like that's going to be really pigmented. I'm just going to... Oh, wow, it is. I'm just going to pick some up on my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to apply that. That's actually a beautiful blush. It's like a little bit luminous. Ooh, it's really pretty. I'm going to go into my Anastasia Glow Kit and Highlight. I usually mix these three colors. This one, this one, and this one. This is like one of my favorite highlight formulas ever. It's always what I fall back to if a failure like today happens. 
That's better. Isn't that better? Okay, so we have a couple of different lip options today. We have those Laura Mercier Velour Matte Lipsticks. I have the colors Fresh and Fierce. And then we also have the Nude Sticks Matte Lip Stain in the color Saint. So I'm going to go decide and then I'll be back. Okay, so I ended up going with the color Fresh and I really, really like it. It's like a deep mauve pink nude and those are my favorite type of lip colors. So I really, really like it and I think it complements the eyes really nicely. And yeah, you guys. That was my full face of first impressions. I have a feeling this is going to be a long ass video. So if you stuck through till the end, you are amazing. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next video. It's going to be a good one. Bye guys.